everybody, welcome back. This is Sophie Plays here with Let's Play Dungeon Dragons Online. So we're just about to go into the Hall of Chanticore. So this is the third and final quest of the STK tunnels. Actually, no, there is another one. There's like a fourth one, but it's it's not a part of this chain. And I that always confused me, but each of their own. Um, <laughs> but let's go. I've got my little highlands for me. There will be a couple of hobgoblins and a wolf that appears out of nowhere. Oh. Okay, they're going all the way over there to kill stuff. That scares me. Because there are some uh, creatures down the side, but you don't really have to go down there. So we can just completely ignore them. And if you go here... Oh no! Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> oh, that did not go as smoothly as last time. Last time there was only one on there. What? What's going on? Oh, that made me laugh. That's funny. <laughs> that was a bit of a failure. If I've ever seen one. Let's see if a lightning bottle works. Yeah, I can't be bothered casting the same spell twice. I'm just going to ignore them. There's no need to kill them, really. Um, I'm just like... <laughs> Also, there is a door here. If you if you have a decent enough search skill, you can go through here, and it's worth opening because there's a chest in here. So the chest is hidden around this uh, crate. So you just loot all, and then go to the next part. Um, what's the easiest way to do this? I guess you go this way, right? And avoid everything. Yeah, so basically there are some enemies to the left hand side and there are some enemies to the right hand side But if you go that way you can actually avoid them so you don't have to kill them, which is always nice And for this bridge, so you don't need a high search skill to get through because there is a secret corridor this way You can just shoot this uh, target lever and it will bring the bridge down Not a lot of people know that, the reason I know that is because the first time I ever did this I was stuck I was like, how am I getting to the other sides? And yeah, uh, it, it just didn't, you know when sometimes certain things don't like register in your brain? That was basically that type of moment when I first did that quest. Even though I've done Tango Roots, I think just before doing this quest, and there's a, there's a part in Tango Root where you have to do the exact same thing and I was like, oh, it was so stupid. Alright, also if you go down here, make sure your uh, party's with you because you do get tra trapped on the other side. Um, yeah, these spiders don't have a lot of health. I can't remember if there's actually any trap here. I don't think so. There's no trap on this one. Um, there is a trap here though. There's an acid trap right there. If you, if you need a shrine, there's a shrine here as well. Right, this bit was really hard and I was so proud of how I did this last time, but whether or not it goes just as smoothly is a completely different story. So let's run through this trap first. Oh gosh, I'm not doing well. Right, let's see if I can actually, uh, no, we'll need to kill everything first. Over here is a fire trap, so this is where you kind of need the potion. Um... I find the best thing to do is just to jump up and kill these guys because unless you're like an archer you could probably strategic strategically like just go around. Uh, that's probably the way I would do it. But yeah we should be fine. Uh, so let's go this way. Let's do that lever. And then we're going to jump down and do the lever below. We kept getting interrupted, so that's why I didn't do it last time. Last time I managed to do it without getting interrupted. And this is what I meant by it was actually quite smooth. Right, let's go. Can he get me from here? I don't think he can. All right, let's uh, go down here. Let's use our scepters of doom. <laughs> Oh, our six damage scepters. I don't know why I do that sometimes. Alright, let's go. 
Let's do this. Oh, and there are some... Oh, let's see if we can make them run, but like, get targeted by the fire. Don't think we can. No. But it's worth jumping over here just, uh, just to get the chest. There we go. If you don't care about chests, then I wouldn't recommend going to the other side. Like, there's literally no points. Alrighty, I'm gonna make these guys stay here because the next part is actually quite difficult. So, what am I doing? I want to cast this spell on me. Reason for this is because this is surrounded by fire traps. Now, if you go around the right hand side, there are spike traps as well. So you kind of want to aim for the middle, but you don't at the same time. What I tend to do is I tend to jump a lot. I try to like try and jump over them and it doesn't always hit me. There we go. I only got hit once. So jumping actually does help a little bit. Um, and then it should be like a minotaur to this side. Nice. And something I will say, do not forget to open this valve. Otherwise you won't get in the boss room. Well, you can you can run back, but you'll end what will happen is if you don't open that valve, you'd run to the you'll you'll end up at the boss room, right? And then you'd have to run all the way back. <laughs> Which is so annoying to do. So you might as well just Yeah, just just do it right away. Don't forget. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go. Alright, let's buff myself. We're almost to the ends. We're very close now. Uh, why, why am I so bad at opening levers and valves? I don't know what it is. Alright, let's go. So, for the next bit... There is, there are traps here. So there's two ways this goes. I think this way, this way is like an ambush and then this way is literally just traps. So we're just gonna uh, do the trap one. I think the trap one's the easiest one to deal with. Unless it's on like a harder difficulty. Oh gosh. There we go. And then we'll get my highlands over. If you notice, I make them like stand still before I'm about to go through a trap because there's no point them taking damage as well. Because you could use them to uh, collect your soul later if you die. <laughs> uh, there's no need to go this way because that is basically just the other direction uh, from the other side. And towards the end, yep, yeah, you should be getting close to the hall where you will fight the final boss so just jump down here nice and slowly we have a nice little feather falling spell i feel like feather falling is so useful in this quest but if you don't have it it's not the end of the world you're just going to take a little bit of um fall damage but um so yeah you just walk towards this now just to give you a heads up these elementals do wake up if you go towards it uh they don't wake up unless you activate the gates i would personally kill the elementals first uh because they do try to like s they do try to uh stop you from moving although i think oh no they do wake up i was gonna say Never mind, you can just kill him quickly instead. <laughs> you can just kill him quickly instead, it's all good. Holy moly, that really scared me. Look at that. <laughs> what is going on? His, his like little uh, great club's just like... Oh, his club, considering he was just... I think he's just using one hand for it, but like... <laughs> that was so funny. But yeah, that is STK. So that is the Halls of Chanticore. The next quest we're going to do is called Sacred Helm. And then after we do the Sacred Helm, we will be doing Tangle Root. So yeah. So absolutely stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the chain. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you in my next episode. Bye for now.